Well, it's crunch time here for the Southeastern Conference and my Tennessee Volunteers. I drew up a couple of little brackets here for you guys to take a look at. I had trouble making up my mind how I think this tournament's going to go. So here's a couple of different brackets and a couple of different scenarios I think could turn out. Now, of course, this first one would be the ultimate ending to this tournament, in my opinion. But, you know, I'm a realist. As much as I like to be a homer with my volunteers, I'm also a realist. And I know beating Kentucky is... It's going to be tough for Tennessee to do if they make it that far. But just look at these first couple of brackets here and see if you see any possibility of any of these coming true. And then I will talk about um, what I really think is going to happen. Okay, so it's Thursday, March 8th, and tonight, or today actually, we kick off the Southeastern Conference Basketball Tournament. Here's a tournament where if you take Kentucky out of it, it would probably be one of the more interesting postseason conference tournaments. Unfortunately, we can't throw the Wildcats out of it, so we have to factor them in. Um, first game today, you have LSU and Arkansas. I'm going with LSU in this game primarily because they gave Tennessee a better game this year, and that's really the only reason I'm picking them. The next game, Alabama and South Carolina. If I'm not mistaken, as bad as South Carolina was this year, they still managed to beat Alabama. I could be wrong about that, and I'm sure you Alabama fans will let me know if I am wrong, but I think they did beat the Crimson Tide this year. Not going to happen today. I think Alabama's just too strong. They've been playing really well down the stretch, ironically enough, starting with the friggin' Tennessee game. Um, so I'm going with the Crimson Tide in this one. Uh, game three, Ole Miss and Auburn. Auburn is terrible. If you were to tell me that Auburn was going to win this tournament, I would tell you that you're an idiot and you know nothing about basketball. But I would say the same thing if you told me Ole Miss was going to win this tournament. I'd probably say the same thing if you told me anybody besides Kentucky was going to win this tournament. However, it's Auburn, it's Ole Miss, I'm going with the Rebels. Um, final game of the night, Battle of the Bulldogs. Georgia is a team that uh, they could beat the Los Angeles Lakers one night and then they could turn around the next night and lose to the Columbia School for the deaf, dumb, and uh, bammerized. Mississippi State struggled down the stretch, but they still have a shot at making the big dance. They need this game. Georgia, on the other hand, is a team going nowhere but home after this tournament. Uh, so I think Mississippi State will get it done. Um, I know Georgia actually drilled Mississippi State not too awful long ago, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, that will factor in. Mississippi State will remember that. They're going to win. One thing's for sure. The Bulldogs will win this game. Friday gets a little bit tougher. LSU and Kentucky, that's a no-brainer. Kentucky will win this one. Alabama and Florida in game two. I went back and forth on this game. Uh, like I said, Alabama's been playing tough. Ultimately, um, I chose Florida just because they have better athletes, uh, more talent. And I just think that, that this is the time of year when Billy Donovan gets his team playing better. Um, all Gator might disagree with me on this one, but I'm going with the Gators. Tennessee and Ole Miss. Tennessee, a team that has pretty much shocked everyone this year, I think. They were picked to finish 11th before the season started, and they wound up with the number two seed. Now, if you just look at the numbers, that could be a little bit misleading. Um, Tennessee is a team that has lost to the likes of Austin P. College of Charleston and Oakland of Michigan this year. But they're also the team that beat the defending national champion, UConn. They came within three points of beating Kentucky. They beaten Vanderbilt. They beat Florida twice. And they've got a couple other nice wins along with a couple of losses this year that were really close against Duke and Memphis. Uh, this team is hot coming down the stretch. They've won 8 of 9. They are on fire coming into the tournament. and Some say they could be a bubble team now. The big question in Knoxville is how many games in this tournament does Tennessee need 
to win to get into the dance. Most people are saying two. Some people are saying one. And a few are saying they need to win the tournament to get in. I personally, I don't know. I think if Tennessee wins two games, they should get in. If they win one game, it'll be a wait and see. Um, I'm going with my Vols in this game because I just think we're better right now than Ole Miss. Even though Ole Miss is a team that could beat us. And it wouldn't surprise me today if they do. Uh, Mississippi and Vanderbilt. I'm going with Vanderbilt just because I want to see Tennessee play those bastards again. Because of uh, Kevin Stallings' comment after Tennessee's win this past Sunday. When he allegedly turned to the crowd and said, good luck in the NIT. (laughs) Now, I don't know if that's true, but there's been several witnesses that said it happened. And it just goes to show you that the Vanderbilt coaches love to run their mouths when it comes to losing to Tennessee, which they seem to do so well at doing. That said, Vanderbilt beats Mississippi State. Saturday, Kentucky and Florida. Like I said, to start this thing, I think Kentucky wins the tournament, so they're going to beat Florida. Tennessee and Vanderbilt on Saturday. You know, Vanderbilt's a good team, regardless of their coach being a dickhead or whatever. Um, We split the season series with them. Uh, This game would not surprise me if it comes down to this. The outcome either way would not surprise me. But I'm picking Tennessee just because I think we're playing better right now, mainly because I love my volunteers and I want to see us get to that championship game And thirdly, because I can't stand Vanderbilt. I hate their colors. I hate that big ugly V. I hate the word Vanderbilt. And the two coaches they have in basketball and football both love to run their mouths. So I'd like to see us shut them the hell up. Sunday, the championship game. Noon on on ABC. Um... If my bracket is correct and it comes down to Tennessee and Kentucky, I've got Kentucky picked to win. They're just too strong. I know at some point this year they're going to lose another basketball game. I really don't see them winning at all. Um, Probably the best team in the country this year. But I just think that, uh, that somewhere down the road they're going to lose another ball game. And... I'll say this, if Tennessee beats Kentucky in this championship game, if they make it to it, Kentucky will win the national championship. If ever there were a team that needed to lose a game, I think it's Kentucky right now. And I would love nothing more than to see my Vols get it done on Sunday. But realistically, um, if Tennessee makes it to the championship game and it is against Kentucky, we'll just have to see what happens. One thing's for sure. I'll be singing Rocky Top, and I'll be pulling for my big orange. Go Vols, good luck, and get at least two games this weekend, guys. And let's get in the tournament. Keep that streak alive, and continue shocking this world. Go Vols, and y'all have a great weekend.